Welcome to Meteora, one of the most picturesque places in the world. This is the second largest monastic complex in Greece and it was founded in the 9th century by hermit monks. Later in the 14th century, they started building these incredible monasteries which you see behind me. There's 24 monasteries and only 6 are active right now. Now let me show you why you have to spend at least 3 nights here. The word Meteora translates into suspended in the air. This small area in Thessaly is located in the heart of mainland Greece. It has two main towns, Kostraki village and the town of Kalabaka, which is home to the majority of hotels, restaurants and shops. A must do for anyone is a guided half day bus tour. You get to experience the unique landscapes of Meteor's stone forests. Even from the bus, there are incredible vistas. This is the holy monastery of Grand Meteora, the biggest monastery on the biggest rock. If you're gonna visit one monastery during your trip, let this be the one. It costs three euros to enter, there's two museums and a gift shop. At the end of your half day tour, you'll visit one of the most ancient sites in Greece. It's called the Cave of Tia Petra. It was inhabited for over 120,000 years, from 130,000 BC to 6,000 BC by Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. Since excavations began in the 1980s, several important finds have been made. Among them include human bones, stone tools, and Neanderthal footprints dating back 135,000 years. Meteora also has a lot in store for adventure travelers. One of the most popular activities here is to go on a nine kilometer hike around the rocks. Let's go. Not only will you hike the stone forest, your guide will give you history lessons and legends along the way. If you're willing to do a short but challenging climb, you'll be rewarded with picturesque views from Dragon's Cave. Adrenaline junkies, Meteor has you covered. Right now we're doing a scramble hike. We're basically climbing up a rock with harnesses. Remember to bring good shoes. Anybody could do it and it's well worth your time. This type of hike is similar to rock climbing but requires less equipment and the use of your hands to pull yourself up the ropes. At the end of this hike, you'll be rewarded with epic views of Kalabaka. Traditional rock climbing is also an option. If you didn't know, Meteora has wineries. Luda's Winery is a family-run boutique winery five minutes from Kalabaka. They've been open since 2006 and specialize in both Greek and international varieties. Come to taste some of Meteora's most popular wines and buy gifts for your family and friends back home. If you're there during the September harvest season, you'll get to see the winemaking process firsthand and possibly get a tour from the owner himself. Promise me, if you only have time to experience one thing in Meteora, it's the Sunset Tour. There are two popular viewpoints where groups gather to see the sunset. It is truly a sunset you won't soon forget. If 
you thought you knew Greece, think again. Meteora, now you know. Bye.